also what you have us to say that back in the time of Lord Jesus Christ and all those who have come, help us to build up their faith and give them confidence in the Word of God. And we give you praise, O precious Lord, for what you do. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. 
Bible says that we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. We walk by faith in His Word and what His Word tells us. Not what the world tells us. Not what the preacher tells us. But what the Word tells us. Amen. Come out of you. There's some preachers out there that they be saved no matter how good you do. Amen. Lord, oh, all Glory to God. If you don't walk the way they walk, you ain't saved. If you don't do what they do, you ain't saved. Amen. Right. But let me tell you, if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, amen, and accept it in your heart, you are saved according to the Word of God. It is by faith that we have been saved, and not according to our works, but according to His grace. Right. Freely it is given to those who call on His name. Amen. The love of Christ. It will never let us go. Amen. According to Romans chapter 8, verse 35 to 39, it says this, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angel, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature that shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. We can be steadfast tonight, knowing that we are secure in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Wow. We should be careful about our salvation. The question is asked, can a Christian lose his or her salvation? Some would say yes, some would say no. But I want here to tell you, no, you cannot lose your salvation. Amen. This whole oh, Bible has been shaking with shaky hands, but this ain't all right. Amen. You can lose your car keys. You can lose your cell phone. You can lose your way when driving your car. Amen. Losing it is an accident. Amen. It is not on purpose. It is an accident. Amen. I lost my wife's car keys. And she's accused me of throwing them in the garbage can. I, I try to tell her, no, I didn't, but, but I lost them anyway. And so I don't know where they are. And I didn't do it on purpose. I promise, honey. Amen. But they're gone. Amen. And keep ourselves in Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Hallelujah. We need to understand the difference between, amen, the Christian falling into some sin or losing their passion for the Lord as someone who denounces their faith. In the Old Testament, we see the word backsliding. Amen. It uh, uh, to refers to times when God's people get caught up in the things of the world. Amen. Like disobedient children. We go away from the Lord. But God doesn't cut us off as His kids. Amen. He doesn't, our fathers and mothers didn't cut us off because we messed up and wasn't living right. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I tried to get my mom and dad to write my brother off many times. He said, slipped in me. He said, son, he my son too. Amen. He just put me in my place right now. Amen. Lord, I wasn't saved at the time. He wasn't saved at the time. That was. He knew what he's talking about. Amen. So he just had to keep us voice straight on. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, it's a God. They went back. We went back. We just wasn't saved. Hallelujah. But sometimes <coughs> they backslid in the Old Testament. And we backslide in the New Testament, in the day that we live. And sometimes we just don't do things like we ought to. Amen. But God doesn't cut us off. Amen. Rather, God disciplines us and restores us to the faith. Amen. If we have been saved and truly want to serve Him at some point in time after the fall, after we've sinned, after we've done wrong, the Holy Spirit will check us and convict us and God will move us back into a right relationship with Him. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I, I can say that uh, by faith in Jesus and by His help that I have never backslid. That this time I wanted to. Amen. But, but God never allowed me to do that because He was always good. Oh, hallelujah. So we need to put our trust in Him. And He will help us. Amen. All the way to the end of the world. Glory to God. Blessed be His name. Ain't He glad that He... Once he's over you, takes care of you. I don't know you got through his name. I get this thing for brother through you when you come tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Backsliding is found in Hosea 14 verse 4. This means falling away from our devotion to God, getting caught up in persistent sin, and rebelling against God. That's not the story of the prodigal son who now told to live a worldly life. Amen. This does not mean that we have lost or left our salvation. God promises to discipline us when we sin and bring us back into a right relationship with Him, and He will help us. There is also a word called apostasy. Amen. This is the willful rejection of Jesus Christ as Lord. Amen. It is an act of the will. Amen. And a deliberate choice. Amen. It means to turn away from God after having known the way of truth in Jesus Christ. Amen. It is a frightening thing to think that someone could denounce the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Even though they are those who are doing it. Amen. But I want you to know I know right. Uh, uh, Lord, help me to never get to that point to denounce Him as Lord and Savior. Amen. Lord, to God, He will keep me to the end. Amen. And help me all the way. Amen. It is highly unlikely, but possible nonetheless. If a person allows his mind to be deceived, amen, by false teaching that they no longer believe in Jesus, the Scripture gives us an account, amen, and several warnings against apostasy. Amen. Amen. They're out there. Amen. There's the Jim Joneses. There's the David Koreshes. Amen. There, there are those who lead people away from the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, they've got a good, they've got a good, uh, got a good word and a good thought and a good following. And, and I, I, when they get people hooked, then they take them down a wrong road. Amen. And they get spaceships up in the, up into the heavens by, by way of suicide and other things. Amen. And they wind up in hell because they have followed the wrong spirit of this world. God help us. Peter warns us in 2 Peter chapter, chapter 2, verse 20 through 22, where he said, and there's other places like 1 Timothy 4, 1 Hebrews 10, 26, and I'm going to read 2 Peter 2 and 20. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein, that means in the things of the world, and overcome. The latter end is worse than the beginning. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned unto his own vomit again and the sow to that that was 
washed to her wallowing in the mire. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. The end is worse than the beginning. Yeah. If someone denounces the Lord, it be better that he never known the way to begin with. It's what the scripture tells us. Amen. Remember these passages are about denouncing Jesus Christ. Not about a believer struggling with a particular sin or backsliding for a season or getting caught up in worldly living. It's easy for us to do. Amen. But God's still on the throne and God's still wooing and pulling people back to himself. And all they have to do is come to him and repent of their sin and God will restore their right relationship with them. And they can move on in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Focus on your 
yourself and how many good works you do. Amen. You will always be afraid of losing your salvation. Amen. Because you can't work hard enough. You can't be good enough to earn your salvation. It is through faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. Through grace and through faith in Jesus Christ and Him alone. Hallelujah. There's nothing else. It's through Jesus that makes us saved.
that he is the Lord and Savior of the world, the Lord and Savior of your heart. You receive him into your heart. You are secure in him unless you willfully turn your back on him. Oh, hallelujah. So have faith in him. Confidence in him that he is well able to keep you and hold you in his bosom. Till eternity grows. Through eternity. Glory to God. How long that is. No man knows how long eternity is. Eternity means forever. Hallelujah. Forever and ever and ever and ever and a day. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When your sin is in the court of law, when they send it to you for a hundred years plus one day, that means you're going to serve those. One hundred years plus one day. No parole, no getting out early. Amen. So when we say that heaven is forever and ever, ever and a day, we're going to be there for a long, long time. Amen. Never to return to the life we know now. It's going to be marvelous. What? Gracious. Loving and kind. Where everybody gets along and everybody's happy with everybody. We give God the glory for that. Hallelujah to his name. Thank you, Nick, for any reason tonight. We want to pray we give you to he's able to minister to you tonight. But if you don't have a just stick it up a hand or over to praise his holy name. And give you glory that he is able to keep you tonight, to hold you. Keep you safe and secure in His arms. Lord, we do praise you. We do thank you. Father, we magnify your name because you are good. And greatly to be praised and we do praise you tonight. For being faithful to your word, God, if we give you praise. Come on, ladies, and help us pray tonight. Hallelujah. <coughs>